while Lou, Texas officials shared disturbing details of 911 calls that several students made from inside the school on Tuesday, begging for help and saying there were multiple people dead all around them. They confirmed that nearly 20 officers were in the hallway of the school as the shooter locked himself inside a classroom and that police should have acted sooner to confront this gunman. A combative news conference as reporters shouted questions at the Texas Department of Public Safety Director Stephen McGraw, who was on the defensive about the response time by law enforcement officials. McGraw first admitted the gunman managed to gain entry to Robb Elementary School in Uvalde on Tuesday through a door that had been propped open by a teacher. That gunman then locked himself inside two doors of a classroom after shooting into the windows of the school. And that's when the 911 calls poured in. It's better than I read it than you listen to it. Still, those accounts were heartbreaking and graphic. One of the first calls was from a student who whispered on the line that eight to nine students were alive. Initial caller called back, student child called back, was told to stay on the line and be very quiet. She told 911 that he shot the door at approximately 1243 and 1247. She asked 911 to please send the police now. McGraw confirmed that more than a dozen officers were inside the hallway. When pressed on criticism about the slow police response, McGraw admitted that it was the wrong decision to wait to breach the classroom door as officers instead waited for more tactical gear to arrive. It was a wrong decision, period. There's no, no excuse for that. But again, I wasn't there, but I'm just telling you from what we know, we believe there should have been an entry at that as soon as you can. Officers didn't enter the classroom until critical minutes later after retrieving keys from a janitor. There are now calls by some officials for an FBI investigation into the response time. <laughs> some families are outraged by how this incident unfolded. Others say it's unclear how much of a difference it would have made with the shooter killing so many victims in such a short period of time. How fast can you act? I mean... I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made, you know, if, you know, maybe they could have acted faster. Uh, it remains to be seen. The mother of that gunman spoke out for the first time today. She apologized on behalf of her son and begged the victims to forgive her. The governor of Texas will soon be giving an update on this investigation. We'll have more on that coming up. That's the latest in the News Center. I'm Kareen Winter. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.